The latest vehicle of my robot fleet is the Curiosity Pi. The rollout inside my RoboSpatium took place the day the NASA rover Curiosity was landing safely on planet Mars. The central brain is the Raspberry Pi, a cheap and tiny computer. The peripheral is controlled by using the GPIO pins, by what the electronics consists of just 7 small signal transistors, some LEDs and resistors. The cabling running from the power supply to the rover is long and thin. To be able to compensate the voltage drop at those cabling, it is attached to a power output of 12V. At the power pole of the rover, those 12V are converted to just 5V. The VLAN stick is very sensible against voltage peaks and the voltage regulators I have used have a maximum current of just 2 Ampere, hence I am using two of them. Number one with the large heatsink is for the Raspberry Pi and the USB hub, while number two is for the servos and the LEDs. The camera is a Logitech C525, which can rotate around its horizontal axis. For driving in the darkness, 7 LEDs are attached above the webcam, which can be switched in 4 steps. The front wheel of the 3 wheeler is driven directly by a hacked servo. The third servo is for the steering of the rover. There is a special reason for using a metal front wheel and attaching a sliding contact besides of it. If the rover is driving on a metal plate, the Raspberry Pi can communicate with other computers by a single GPIO pin. Here you can see Curiosity Pi talking to an Atmega 8 microcontroller. Inside of my Robo Spatium, you can control the space shuttle using those methods. The control interface is identical to those of my other robots. This tiny bot is running around my Robo Spatium on a separate table, and of course it can be accessed by internet. Try it out! <laughs> 